What if I told you I could use an extreme force with a delicate egg and it still won't break? Yeah, well today I have a secret mission from NASA. Yeah, and the results will look like magic. Can you take an egg and throw it with the maximum force at a bed sheet and make it break? I don't know, I think it's impossible, but I want you to show me. Mission accepted, NASA. Let's see if we can get an egg to break. Now, normally we have to be really delicate with eggs because if you drop them or you were to throw them or if you've ever tried to egg toss, you know, one wrong move, you have a broken egg. But eggs are surprisingly more tough than you think they are. Grab an egg. You won't be able to break the egg. Because of the shape of the egg, it's spreading the force out around the sides, which is pretty cool when you think about it. Uh, now let's try out the experiment NASA told us about. Let's check out the bed sheet. Three, two, one. No matter how hard you throw that egg, it won't be able to break with a bed sheet. And that's because the stopping time. See, when you're throwing against a piece of plywood, the amount of force to stop the egg is in a very short amount of time versus a bed sheet. Well, that time is spread out with a light amount of force, kind of like a crush zone on a car. I'm getting worn out doing this. In 1687, Isaac Newton discovered these laws of motion about how things move. He says that an object will remain at rest until a force is acting upon it, and it will stop when a stopping force is acting upon it, whether it's friction or my hand getting in the way. Just like if I were to throw this up in the air, if I didn't catch it, well, the stopping force is applied in a very short amount of time. But if I take this egg and throw it up in the air and catch it, if you look closely, my hands are actually moving with it. It's cradling it. And even though it's a smaller force, it's over a longer period of time, which is why it's not breaking. So when you think about force and you're thinking about the bed sheet, Think about the stopping force being applied over a longer period of time, which is why it's not breaking. Now that we understand the impossible science of it, let's put an impossible twist on it. So I modified this slingshot to hold eggs. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Nothing, nothing. Now you see me throw the egg, you see me launch the egg. Now I've decided just to fire the egg out of a cannon. I've brought a vacuum cannon. Now, if you want to learn more about vacuum cannons, make sure you check out the impossible science on vacuum cannons. Oh! Holy cow! But right now, I've got this egg loaded up in this. I'm going to suck the air out and then launch it at that cloth. Three, two, one. Nothing! Nothing! Wow, even with the maximum force, the egg still didn't break. I want to give a huge thank you for everyone at NASA and Jessica Mir for being on the show. And if you want to build an experiment at home, but you can't really launch eggs, well, there's actually a link below that you can actually learn how to build your own egg landing pod. And until next time, stay curious, because the right question changes everything.